greetings, this is this and I be and everything just lagged for like a minute and a half for so long and it was so bad and I'm scared that something's going to go wrong, but let's just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't. Why is there chlorine gas over here and so much of it? I don't know. Oh, we could utilize that for something at some point, I guess. Oh, there must be bleach stone. Maybe there's bleach stone over here or something. Ah, I don't know, but I can't, I, uh, I can't deal with all these problems in game and out of game. It's too much. No, I can do it. Um, I'm going to have to do it. But okay, so the first thing that I saw as I was trying to just wait to see if the lag was ever going to stop and even itself out was that um, the little slug dude really likes to sleep right over there. So you have to put it down like not the space after they're hanging, but the space after that. I don't think we have room. I want to make there be like an open wire here. But I guess I, I can't. No, I can. I can. Um, I don't know how much it matters because it's, I don't think it will power the batteries because it's going the wrong direction from the transformers. But I think if we, if we squiggle this around this way, then we can cut the piece over here. Yeah. And so there, when that dude goes to sleep right there, um, he will give this line some power. Maybe that will end up helping us at some point. It's better than him not being able to do anything. There's a possibility that he can help if he continues to go to sleep over there. Because we still can't get him to move over into this section yet. Because my duplicates are not, um, they're not trained enough. I don't necessarily want to remove the displayed object. I just want to look at what other things I can display. So I tried to find a good thing to display last time, but I don't really have anything that belongs on a pedestal yet. Like, I remember in the past, um, I was putting, like, the artifacts that we got from, ooh, it's pretty. I was putting the artifacts that we got from thingamabobbers, whatchamacallit, onto the, the thing. But I don't have anything yet this time. I that probably makes no sense to you guys. But um <laughs> So I was just putting literally anything. Wow, well, yeah, yeah, this sort of stuff. I don't want to spoil it, but but I know I think I had an X-ray and or a blender last time. And we were putting these things on the You can't click on any of them? I guess they're just telling you what's available. Okay, and there's no sense in looking at it anyway. But I would put that kind of stuff on the pedestals in the past, but we don't have anything good. Um, you guys wanted me to try diamond. I guess I have to remove this if I want to try something new. I don't know if I have diamond here. Um, I wish I could search or I could like check for it to, to just show me the things that I own. Okay, yeah, I don't have diamond. So I just tried to try some things that I thought maybe had like a little bit of a beautiful aspect to them. <laughs> But I don't think any of it made any difference. I guess I would consider an egg, but I want the eggs to continue to hatch. So I'm not going to do that. Um, we tried like a different metal or different rock and a different seed that would be for food. I think and a seed that would be for decor. It seems like they all give the exact same sort of boost, which is pretty much nothing. But the reason I have these pedestals with pretty much nothing is because it's still more decor than um, probably an uncarved statue or an unpainted picture. <laughs> because I can't actually do anything with either of those. Um, because we're also untrained in that regard. I said decor. Please, thank you. Um, the pedestal is 12, the blank canvas is 11. So yeah, I mean, technically, the pedestals do do more. Okay, but so... Oh, we've got our suit delivered and everything. We got this place set up last time, and I'm ready to actually start the process. We are going digging, guys. We are going digging. Yeah, it's lagging really bad. But I do remember in the past, there being a time or two here or there, but it would lag really badly just for like one day, like one episode. And then the next time I went back to play it, it would not be so finicky. So hopefully it doesn't mean that our colony has reached a bad point. Um, this is enabled. 
Um, okay. Yeah, so I think they're ready to just come down here and do this. We want to close this pathway off, though. I mean, I guess you could do airflow, airflow tile. Like, I don't really care what you close it off with, but just close that side off because we don't want people to be able to go through here. They, they need to have the suit on. If they come down here to do this before they do that, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay, good, Ada, good. Okay, auto, don't do it, don't do it, auto, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, thank God. Okay. Ada is not wearing the suit as of yet. Auto, don't do it. Okay. Why didn't she go far enough to put the suit on? They both can wear a suit, right? There's no problem with that. Basically, we're digging down there to get coal so that we have coal. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, first and foremost, anyway. Uh, once they've got this underway and I know that they're not going to go the wrong way for this, I'm going to go check my other colonies. Yakani has an idleness problem. Okay. Otto's got his suit on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, go for it, dude. Nice job, nice job. Okay, he's a little sick. Is that food poisoning? Or is that... Okay. Oh, wait, but he's also hungry? Are we running out of food? Eh. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Actually, a little bit. <laughs> I shouldn't be so careless. I shouldn't say, eh. Because, oh, yeah, we are a little bit. What happened to all the fish? I thought that they could make more, and then it just never seemed to turn out that way. I don't think they want pickled meal. Do they want lice loaf more? Yeah, lice loaf, surprisingly, is better. Okay. Make some more lice loaf if you can. And then come on down here, guys, whenever you're ready. Get this situated. Oh, okay. They have long commutes. Um, we hate to see it, but if they just... If they just... I don't know. I guess we have to leave all this like this, right? <laughs> we have to leave all this like this. We have to leave it naturally growing. It's the only way. It's the only way that makes sense right now. Because um, then it doesn't need to be tended to or anything. It just gets harvested. Is it all on auto harvest? Enable auto harvest. Enable, enable, enable. Can I do that for here? Is this telling them to harvest them? Enable harvest. Okay. Yeah. All the meal wood that are close by. That's, is that mealwood or is that a tree? I think it's mealwood. Is that mealwood or a tree? I think it's mealwood. They don't need to auto harvest the trees, I don't think. And they don't need to auto, oh, those aren't even mealwood anyway. Um, should they go through with these ones as well? I think so. That better all be totally fine. If I just told them to like literally uproot and, you know, destroy all of these i'm gonna be so sad <laughs> so hopefully that's not what that's for um okay let's choose a blueprint for them here fertilizer okay well like i was saying i think most everything that we're working with over here is supposed to be naturally planted in the ground they do have a few plants over here though so i guess maybe the fertilizer will help with that um guys can you do these other things just a little bit faster than you do some of that stuff. Um, so that I can stop monitoring it. So that I can stop being uneasy about it and just move on with working with everybody. Where? I'm missing a person. Okay, there she is. Ada, what were you doing? I don't know. I never know. Um, okay, well... I can't even prioritize this yet because these have to be first. It's going to be nighttime though, so I guess let's look at the uh, thing here and see how it helps. Yeah, like it's connected to... It's connected to a power transformer. It's not connected to a battery line. So it probably doesn't matter that much. I mean, I guess it will save battery power because this light has to get used at nighttime. And if the dude can just power it up instead of the light, 
taking power from the battery would take it from that. But I don't know where he went. Oh, he's over here. Dang it. Um... I wonder if he charges it right there. Because it's an outlet spot. I don't think so. Is there any way you can tell? Like, hello, dude. Plug slug. I don't think there's a way to tell if they're powering anything at the time. Oh, I mean, yeah, because it says plus 40, right? So if this says... Oh. Why was that one plus 40, but this one was plus 200? Did they give you a different amount of power when they're older? But that wasn't an open power line. I'm so confused. I thought maybe it was hovering like right over something like this. And so it would have said plus 200 when the, the dude was there. But then plus 160 when he wasn't. But there's no outlet here. <laughs> uh, maybe it was helping. I guess maybe it was helping. I thought you needed open power lines. But maybe, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh. Why do they take such a such a quick trip to go and do that? Why don't they do it all in one go? My dude? Why don't you ever do it all in one go? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, okay, and then we're prioritizing this as well. Prioritizing this as well. But please go from inside here. Don't go from outside. Go from inside, not from outside. Oh, they can't go from outside, right? Because it's too shallow. So I don't think I have to worry about them trying to approach that from the other direction. Anyway. But they really don't spend much time down here, even though there is a good task, you know? It's a hefty task down this way. I think I'm gonna have to change their priorities at some point. But I mean, hey, if they've got all the harvesting done, they're gonna have to move on to other things at some point. Um, and the gas is here are getting better. So that's good, I suppose. That's good. Um, thank you so much. Okay. There we go. I mean, I guess it's kind of weird that I made it an airflow tile when this is supposed to be a closed off section. I guess that's a little weird, but I think it's fine because this isn't space tiles. They're still back, backing to that. Okay. Um, let me check your priorities. Get your priorities in order. So, um, tidying, um, operating, farming, building, digging, supplying, storing. So she already has the highest priority for digging. And Otto has a somewhat high one for building. So I'm not going to change them. We're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, guys. I think I'm ready to leave you on your own for a little bit. I gotta go check the other colonies, okay? Uh, oh. Wait, how are we doing with... Oxygen levels look to be... Still very breathable. And we have been stealing a little bit of oxygen every now and then. But I think that's been okay. And as for power, that seems to also be managed right now. Okay. <laughs> sure. So I'm going to leave then, guys. I'm, I'm really going now. Okay. They better not die. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You've got this sort of awkward situation here where you're uh, stuck on the generators all the time. Which isn't the best. It's not the best. Um, I think you get more natural gas when you deal with this thing, but I've told you to stop dealing with this thing as often and only use as much petroleum as you need for the stuff over here. Okay. This is made out of lead. It has no power in it anymore, so let's just deconstruct it. Now is the time. <laughs> Deconstruct it, and we're going to build it out of something that is not lead. 
Gonna build it out of... Uh, overheat temperature was minus 20, so yeah, that was a bit rough. Wait, what's the temp looking at over here? This is 42 degrees right now. Eh. It's not like things are getting into the thousands or even the hundreds, so I think in general it should be fine. We'll just build it out of a hardier material next time rather than a weakling wimpy baby material that melts at the most, you know, tame glare from a evil villain. <laughs> We'll just, yeah, I don't know, fix that up. Should we just grab all this, throw it into storage? We do have a lot of storage. Should I start organizing the storage so that it's better? I think for one, I should start making the storage prettier, that's for sure. Um, purple and a pink. Okay, um, the reason that I would care to organize the storage is because it helps the, the lag. So, okay. What is something that there's a lot of in here? Uh, phosphorite, mud. There's a lot of mud in here, okay. And there's, there's a lot of clay in a different one. How much can they hold? Okay. We could let it have mud and clay. Okay, um, I'm getting confused. What am, what is it clicked on? Okay. This can have mud or clay and dirt. No, okay, okay. It can have mud, it can have clay. It can have mud, it can have clay. Okay, and if I have um okay, and then the dirt goes in here. Can we just like do this? Okay. It's, it has nothing. And then I find the dirt, and I just say dirt. If you have fewer things per bin, then that means you have to p you have less piles. Because like a small pile of dirt in here, plus 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 in here. That's a lot of small piles of dirt. Whereas if you just have one big pile of dirt in the bin, that's better. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. That is why I'm doing this. Um, so, so far we have mud, clay, dirt. And then this one can be... Um, agriculture and uh, seeds probably agriculture and where are the seeds da -da -da, da -da -da -da. seeds okay um now for the rest I'm just gonna go by category and then at the end we'll see like how to fix it better so like we already have agriculture in one so this one has clothing then this next one, uh, spit everything out. It's going to have compostable. Okay, and then this next one, spit everything out. And it's gonna have uh, consumable. Okay, then this next one, they're gonna spit everything out. I don't even think we need storage for sand, because we never can hold it. We always have to use it. So it's going to have industrial ingredients. Okay, liquefiable never goes in one. It can have industrial ingredients and manufactured materials, because those are both so small. And medical supplies? No. I don't know. That'll go somewhere else. Um, this one will have metal ore. Now we need organic, but no mud. That one and a different one, I guess. Okay, so we still need raw... Okay, raw mineral, refined metal. Okay, perfect. I have two bins left. Raw mineral, refined metal. The only problem is that... I think I need more storage now, because some of these are kind of empty. So we might want to double up or else get more storage. Raw mineral... Da da da... Okay... And then lastly, refined metal. Okay, and then we'll see what they have no more storage for. I think they've already filled up dirt. Uh-huh. And clay looks like it's pretty full as well. Where's the oxygen mask one? Okay, it's got almost nothing in there. What is this one? There's actually nothing in here. <laughs> Wait, what is this for? 
Oh, compostable. Okay. Clothing. Okay, the compostable can go in here. Definitely. And then not in here, and we'll make this one have more dirt. Okay, and we'll let them do that, and we'll check back in later with how that's going. Okay, so we still have someone running on this thing. No one came down here to deconstruct this? We either have no power in one or no oxygen in the other. Well, what are you powering this battery for? Huh? Do I have to flip the switch again? I think I have to flip the switch again. Okay, fine, fine. Go down there and fix the battery, okay? Fix the battery. Because apparently this can't do anything until the battery is fixed? Yeah, okay. So you gotta come down here and do this when and if you can. And then what other problems are they dealing with? Body temperature? Why? Oh, was the water too hot? The temps over here shouldn't be hot. Oh, it's because all this water. The water is feeling hot, hot, hot. No. How do you see the temp of the water? Okay, 51 degrees. My goodness gracious. Okay, well, there's enough. There's enough in there. There's enough. How do I have another thing already? Okay, um... Um, how do I tell them to stop bringing the water over? Just get rid of this bridge? Yeah, let's just get rid of this bridge. And then even this other water can, like, this pipe can fill up with water and it can sit, you know, close to here. And it'll cool over time. And then that would be better. Okay, just stop bringing the water. Stop bringing the water. You're killing our plants. They're too hot. But that, they're not watered by that water. But that water is, they're just, pro the proximity? Because they're watered by this water. Which is supposed to be going through its own little cooling system path. Is that not cooling it anymore? I mean, that's cold. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, hey, guys. Are you gonna come over here and do this? Okay, no oxygen. Disabled by automation grid. Why the look? <sighs> There's so much clean oxygen over here, and this is detected clean oxygen, is it not? Why do you insist on making my life difficult? Is it the other part that's... no. That wouldn't make any sense. <sighs> okay, well I'm just gonna change it to polluted oxygen then. What is it detecting? Oh, okay. I mean, a burst is all we need in order to get them down there to fix that battery. A burst is all they need. Why is there clean oxygen down in this path? Ugh. Why is it so breathable down here? Nobody wants that. Oh, because I opened this door. <laughs> okay, we probably want to put that back on auto. Okay, okay. Um, I'll give the printable to you, Connie. They are definitely struggling right now. Okay, printable to you, printable to you, Connie. It's not an easy thing to say. Printable to you, Connie. <laughs> printable to you, Connie. Okay, here you go. Mm. I guess they're gonna have to get. I don't know. Just get the pip squeak. The other ones died apparently. Not that they had a very nice environment to live in, but uh, I guess just get just get those. Um, okay. So someone's gonna come down here and fix this, right? Do you want me to switch this to this now? What do you want me to switch to? Carbon dioxide? Is that what you're detecting right now? Oxygen, polluted oxygen, oxygen, polluted oxygen, oxygen, polluted oxygen. It's definitely either detecting oxygen or polluted oxygen at every point in time. Oops. I'm just gonna have to leave it on oxygen. Okay. 
Guys, just do what you can, okay? Just do what you can. Um, I just need like two seconds for someone to come down here. If one of these just has a little bit more oxygen in it, just a little bit more oxygen, that'd be great. Maybe just get rid of the automation over here. Did anybody ever think of that? Did anybody ever think that maybe that's what we need to be doing right now? Dang it. It doesn't work to just cut the wire. I have to deconstruct the wire. Uh, automation wire. Am I clicking on the right one? I want the automation wire that's here. Okay, yeah. Automation wire. Sure, now it's working. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, well... <sighs> do you want me to hook it back up? <sighs> Why do you have to be so difficult? What was it? What was it before? What are these made out of? Copper? Okay. Copper it is. Reconnect that on up there. And there you go. Oh, I got a thing. Hello? What's it gonna be? Petal checkers! Fiercely fluorescent, floral-inspired pink! Okay! I don't have checkers at all yet! I've only made big checkers. I've never had small checkers before. <gasps> How fun. Okay. Where do we want them? There isn't really any pink here at all, is there? I never added any pink here? This doesn't have pink. This doesn't have pink. This doesn't have pink. That doesn't have pink. <gasps> I never added any pink here. <laughs> okay. Let's do pink as a backdrop behind the bog buckets. <laughs> I was gonna do it over here, but then I was like, you know, you know what? They called it petal, flower, whatever stuff. So you know what? Why don't we... Why don't we put it near the plants? Um, not petal diagonal. Petal, petal checkers. Da, da, da. It can go behind drywall, right? I mean, behind crown molding. Probably. Do, 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 do. You can do other patterns with this. Um, I haven't thought of what kind yet, but you could do other patterns with that. Let's just have that there for now, and you know, see how see how it goes. Oh, they've got a lot of charge on their battery. That's nice. But seriously, guys. Okay. I'm gonna have to just check back later. But look, like, we have oxygen moving over there. That's not enough for you guys to run down there and, and get that fixed. I just, I want to be around when they do it because I want to tell them to put the, do, the new battery down. Oh, 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 she's going, she's going, she's going. Okay. Power. Um. Oh, wait, I don't have to deconstruct it. You can change the material right here. Oh, my God. Cancel deconstruct. Change material. We want to use um, overheat temperature plus 50. Overheat temperature plus 50. We have more copper. So I guess use the copper. Okay. Can you get copper in here? Do you have copper? No, no. Not lead. Honey, if you repair that with lead, I'm never going to forgive you. <sighs> Don't repair it with lead. Change the material to copper. Change material. Copper. Order rebuild. There we go. There we go. I love that! Oh my god! Quality of life! That's excellent. Okay, but now she has to go get it, so they wasted oxygen. But Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You're doing it. Yes! Thank you, Abe. Good job. Okay. They're ordering the rebuild, and so then the deconstruct, reconstruct all happens in one go, and you don't have to watch for it and be like, okay, the second that they deconstruct it, I'm going to place a new one down. No, they do it all on their own because they're smart. They've learned. Whoa, that is honestly a little overwhelming, but I really like it for like a, I mean, maybe not with pink, but like it looks like a very um, tile-y background, like for a kitchen or something, you know, should have put it over here. I should have put it over there. We could throw some down over there right now. What if we get a different checkered that I could put over there? I don't know. Maybe we'll get a different one. Okay. Um, what else did you not have room for? Clay, mud, abyssalite. 
Okay, we need more. Um, okay, this is not going to have clothing. It's going to have either clay, mud, or abyssalite, whichever one I come across first. Clay will go in there. Okay, oh, wait, shouldn't I just make the one that has clay just have clay? Yeah, and then this one can have mud. Okay, hopefully we can fit most, if not all, the clay in one and then the mud in the other. Okay, we've got dirt. Um, this one just has seeds. Let's put the, uh, clothing in there as well, because there was barely any. It was just some oxygen masks. Agriculture, compostable. Oh, wait, no, this doesn't have seeds. It has compostable and agriculture. Okay. Oh, and seeds. Yes, okay. I thought I was going crazy for a second. It's like, it sure looks like there are a lot of seeds in here, if that's not what it's for. <laughs> okay, here. We put the clothing in this one. Clothing. Okay. Um... And then it looks like maybe we still need some more room for, like, more rust or sulfur. Okay, so more sulfur storage and more abyssalite storage. Um, okay, the metal ore and then the refined metal. Yeah. This can have refined metal as well. We can double up on those because that's a very little amount of stuff there. And so then we get to put refined... No, uh, abyssalite. Abyssalite and sulfur. So basically another miscellaneous tabbed one. Okay. There we go. There we go, guys. Um, they did it! We're back in business. Back online. And now I can... I can turn this off again, right? Turn it off. Doo-doo. Okay. I think we're back in business. Good. Good job, everybody. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um... And you are slowly but surely digging this out of here. And when they dig that out of there, they're meant to be getting the fossil and then crushing it. Um, they're waiting for fossil. Okay, good. Perfect. We got one of these dudes. We don't need him. Um, what else? What else is there for me to check right now? I guess nothing. For the very brief time being. Look, the water is actually has a little bit of height to it for a moment. It's gonna all go away once these plants start getting watered again properly. Um, okay. Yeah, they're really just not growing right now, which is definitely a bit worrisome. Uh, it's a bit worrisome. The water, the heat of the water is dropping, though, I think. Because, yeah, I mean, these guys, they should cool down soon. Because, I mean, we're doing our super cool system, you know? So, as long as there's not fresh heat being added to this zone right now, they'll cool down. Okay. Good. Golden. We don't need to worry about it. The hydrogen pocket that's picking up is a bit of a problem, but not for now. I think we'll be fine. My goodness, I can't believe how much time I've spent in these places um, without, like, checking the next place, you know? Like, this is my first time that my eyeballs have, are seeing this zone today, which is insane. That's dangerous. I need to check every place more often. Um, what are you guys doing, though? Like, what have I been working on with you guys? Why is there no power to all this stuff? What did I do? <sighs> Someone explained this weirdness to me. No natural gas? Huh? Okay. So let me get this straight. I normally have a pump here that grabs the natural gas that's being created in this zone and delivers it either to the generator that's also here or to the storage, which then gives it to this natural gas generator. So we have plenty of natural gas in storage, so this natural gas generator has natural gas. This one, however, does not because this one needs to get it from here, this dude. And so because this one doesn't have any and because I've put... They're not on separate power lines. They're on the same power line. So you're telling me that this one can't generate enough for this? Okay, no. The pipe is blocked. 
So this one is not doing anything either because we can't get the carbon dioxide out. Does this have carbon dioxide? Uh-huh. What about this one? Okay. So this is our carbon dioxide storage. So really, what should be happening with the ventilation here is that the filtered output should not be going directly this way. It should be going directly to the input of here so that we can store up this whole thing with carbon dioxide and then from the storage here, we move it out. The problem then is that we're moving it to two places, one of which is here, which, you know, that means this one has to fill up two whole times before it's going to stop bringing it up to these guys. But I mean, these are getting decently full as well. I don't even need these to be filled at all anymore right now. They have plenty of carbon dioxide in them. But let's just keep going with that anyway for now and this is most definitely closed okay yes yeah, so we're not throwing any of our carbon dioxide away okay well we're having a problem with the pipe not moving the carbon dioxide fast enough or at all because there's no battery power what's the problem i don't know i guess maybe there's no battery power either, but we can fix this so instead of going up, I want that to come down. Filtered output is going down. And then this will cross over here. Okay. And so then these pieces, just get rid of them. Just deconstruct this. I don't care that we're losing the stuff inside. None of that matters. Is that? Okay. Like, did that select the right thing? Uh, gas pipe, gas pipe. This one's not being deconstructed, right? Okay. Uh, cool. What is this? Oh, it's for the gas bridge. I'm like, what is this output that's here? Uh, okay. And yes, it has no power right now. Because no one can get to any of this stuff right now. Because it's... You know, being powered by the stuff that it needs. But I will just hook it up to this line. I will just hook it up to this line. I'll hook this line up so that they can get out there. And then I'll hook that line up after. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, power. Uh, wire. Reconnect. Okay. Then that helps somehow. No, this is also the natural gas power line. Oh, God. Okay. We're just going to need a little manual generator real quick. Just a little boost. I don't have room for one. Well, why does this stuff... Why is this stuff not working either? Oh, God. Because you're doing that thing again where you put it all down this way, this direction. Okay, well, it's done now, right? Like, it's not still only going down that way. Ugh, it really is just only... Okay, okay. It's because we need to open the doors again. There isn't any. There isn't any. Next activity is in six days. Okay, well, what about over here? Oh, there isn't any. Not really. Okay. Who knew that the hydrogen storage, or not the hydrogen storage necessarily, but who knew that them changing the storage would go from being like so good for me that it was like saving everything to now being once again a hindrance? Because I, I, there's still too much storage down here, even just with these two bins. Because I have tons of hydrogen. It's just the way that I set everything up previously was so that hydrogen would need to be pulled from somewhere up here in order to go to the other things. Now there's no way for hydrogen to get pulled from stuff up here because it keeps all just getting stored down here. I think I actually need no hydrogen storage down here. And it's all be up there and just pull down. 
and or pull out to this direction and that direction. Like this needs to be the one bank where it all stays and then it pulls it out into the different directions where it needs to go. <sighs> okay. So we need some power. I just don't ever have any free space to get like a manual generator put down so that we can just get a little boost real quick. So ideally I'd like to just leech off of a different power line, but there are no power lines nearby. <laughs> Not a one singular power line and everything just goes down. Like, you know, it's just like the whole grid just gets shut off because there are way too many moving parts of things that need power. So it's like, oh, well, we lost power. And now I can't, I can't, the pump won't give me hydrogen. We lost power because we didn't have hydrogen, but the pump won't give me any more hydrogen. And then I blah, 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 blah. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just a disaster. If I get rid of the power control station, I'll have enough room for a little thingamabobber, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to start by doing this. Deconstruct the power control station and... Hey, where in the world did you come from? <laughs> Let's get a manual generator put down. Okay. And... I don't know, can I just do this real quick? That'll be enough, right? We do that and then that'll kickstart something that might help in some capacity. Who knows? And I say, we just deconstruct this again. I had just reconnected it because these ones were empty. Now they're full again, just deconstruct the whole thing again. You know, like, disconnect a piece. Yeah, there. No more hydrogen will go down that way. Okay. Well, we'll see how far that gets us. Okay. Who else needed uh, checking on everyone? Everyone needed checking on. Are you guys good? What's going on here? Plus 40. Okay, it's helping. It's technically helping. Thank you. Um, okay. Wow, look, they got it done! Okay. So they dug out the coal. And so now... You shouldn't have insufficient coal. You should be able to... Uh, Use this whenever you want with the coal that you have. I'm going to get a storage bin for you guys, okay? Um, lovely purple storage bin. We like to do purple for coal. I don't know why. We just do. Let's get that going. Is there any more spaces for one? There's one right there. Maybe this one can have lumber. More lumber. One for coal, one for lumber. And then I'll tell you guys to dig out some more. Um, oh, so that should have revealed a little more to us, right? Okay, we have another um, uranium zone. That's really all I've seen so far. Oh, okay, here's another geyser. Or volcano of some type. Maybe that one has something helpful. Uh, maybe that one has something helpful. Guys, come on, build the things. Where is everybody? Oh, you're over there. Okay. Well, how much food do you have? 20? Um, I suppose that's not too bad, right? But it'll be better if we turn it into meal lice, right? I think that's the way we gotta go, guys. Keep it going with the meal lice. Okay. Here we go. Coal, which is a consumable ore. Okay. And lumber! Which is an industrial ingredient. Yeah, I know my way around the storage. To a degree. Um, okay. So, you want to sweep this stuff so you can put it in the storage. And you want to dig more. You want to dig that way. And then you also want to dig a little bit more here. We're basically going to give you steps, okay? We'll dig down like this eventually, but for now... Um, whoops. Cancel. But for now, we're gonna go step, a step, a step. 
So yeah, to there. And then you can step all the way down. Oh wait, okay, wait, wait, no, 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 don't do it yet, don't do it yet. Don't do these ones yet, okay? Because you need to be able to reach up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> stop, why? No, no, no. Oh, Ada. Okay, you can get this one, this is fine. You can get this one and then you can get back out. Okay. There. Tons of coal here. Lovely, lovely. So much coal. Well, I mean, it looks like a lot of coal anyway. And then aluminum ore, gold amalgam, coal. So those aren't actual metals just yet. Uh, but that's okay. We can get to the metals now that we have the suits on. Like, we're safe to actually, like, try and pick some stuff up from there. There are so many metal volcanoes. It's crazy. Um, thanks, Ada. Okay. So I guess... For the most part, how are we doing with oxygen levels? <sighs> okay. I think you guys need to open this door for a second. Like, leave it open for, like, a minute or two. The oxygen's getting a little low over here. Um... Things are going to start overheating, if I'm not careful. Okay, so we're going to leave that door open for a second, let the air flow through, and then we'll just close it again. But otherwise, yeah, they seem to be scraping on by on the daily over here. How is their mental? Um, not priorities, but skills. How is their mental? 7 out of 7 and 8 out of 4. Okay. So I haven't managed to really give them that extra special decor boost yet, I don't think. Um, it's difficult though. Ooh, okay. 96.5. Average. Okay, average decor this cycle has been negative. Average decor last cycle was somewhat positive. Okay, yeah, we need to boost it. We need to boost it. Um, because that's the only thing I can really think of that's going to give us any easy way to boost I mean unless they just keep going through the nature reserve <laughs> I can't think of any other things to boost their mental health on the regular right now they can't get fancy clothing I don't think oh we could ship them some fancy clothing that would help oh but they, then they don't have their cute outfits anymore but we could do that um or we could get uh I mean we can't get better food you know that's a thing that always helps to get better food but we can't do that um, so room bonuses would help. Okay, right now they have barracks, recreation room, and mess hall. Um, does a, does a washroom or latrine, do either of these things give a morale? It does. Morale plus one. Toilet, wash station. <sighs> I don't have a wash station. And these are outhouses, not toilets. Um, let me look at the room overlay again. Washroom. Be, be plumbed things. Does Yakani need this, uh, delivery as well? Or are you guys stabilized now? Doesn't look like they're stabilized. It doesn't look very good. Personally, if I was being honest, I would say that this looks bad. You know what I wish we could do? <laughs> Without it being too taxing, is wish we could grab this water and bring it up there to them. Oh, but look, their water is actually like. It's because these are literally just never growing. Okay, okay, fine. Take it. Take it again. Ice is not what I wanted, but I guess that's helpful. Um. I guess that's helpful. They just. I'm afraid that they're gonna run out of food. There's still plenty of swap chart hearts. They're, they're not gonna run out of food yet. Otherwise, are they okay? What have they been doing? Building depreciated. Yeah, let's deconstruct it. Um, let's build the new one. The new one, which is called a critter drop-off. Okay. Let's put that down. Put it down in the new place. Right when they finally deconstruct it. Okay. There we go. And we don't need a critter pickup because we're never picking them back up from here. But I'll let them 
drop that pipsqueak off in there. Um, okay. Besides the, like, water, food, heat problem, <laughs> you know, that one, there's nothing else that's- okay, well, the storage that we didn't finish, okay. Okay, it's fine. Um, the temp still hasn't decreased enough. Let's see what happens when this stuff goes by. You can see it going through the pipe. Then it's going through this way. Okay, it immediately is dropping the temperature. Healthily dropping it multiple degrees. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we're down to 20 with the oxygen. Like, if you look at the bottom number, oxygen's uh, temperature right now. I mean, it has weird pockets of 30 degrees, but then it goes to down to 20 again. So it should be overall getting cooler over here. Is there really that much heat to combat? This is all consistently cold. You know, it's a long, long path of hydrogen that comes through to cool everything. And it does stay cold. It's not like only the beginning of the path was cold. It's all cold. So what's the problem? Maybe it just needs a little more time. It can be between 10 to 30. What is it right now? What is it right now? 36. <sighs> no. I have to just believe that that's going to even out. It's going to even out. We're going to be fine. So what else was I looking at around these parts? Uh, we're running low on natural gas again. I guess I have to open this door again. I don't know. This place does not seem optimized. And I need more time to spend on it. But... When you have three colonies to do stuff with, it's hard to spend all your time optimizing one of them. Um, so it's just going to have to hang in there for a while, okay? Just hang in there, guys. Okay, the top ones are growing. The top ones are growing, okay. The Philios, um, I wanted to give them a better room here. So we can get them a sink that's not plumbed, right? Uh, plumbing. The... Oh, it's not in plumbing. It's in uh, medicine. A wash basin. Doesn't have any plumbing. How much space does it take up? Two space. Okay. We give them a wash basin. There's no space for it. We put the wash basin... If we move the microbe musher down to the kitchen, <laughs> then we'd have space for it, right? Um, sure, then we'd have space for it. Maybe I should move all of these down one. Because they're in a weird spot. Let's tell them to build tiles here. I should make them auto-watering ones as well, but... Let's tell them to move these here so that I remember in the future that I was I was moving everything down by one floor. I'm still just going to leave it three tall. It's too skinny, but I don't want to have to move everything. Should I move everything? Should I make it four tall like I usually do? So you have room for a little bit of decor on the top? I should. I'm going to regret it if I don't. Okay. Fine. Everything is going to be four tall. So that would go there. And these would go here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So then hopefully we will remember to be shifting everything here down so that we can move the micro musher down into this space somewhere. And then I can shift this out a little further. And that's going to give them another morale boost because they're going to have another room. And then if we can close this room off, we might be able to make that be considered some sort of kitchen. That would be another morale boost. Okay, I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying to give you a little bit of help here so you can start getting more skills. <laughs> um, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but uh, they kind of are a little bit dumb still. <laughs> okay, so we'll give them skills. Did we get oxygen through here? Okay, I mean, it's not micrograms anymore. Oh, it is still there. Um, let's open this door for a second as well, too. I better not forget about those next time, because I've got to end the episode. 
We've spent enough time here today. It's time to call it an end, you know? <gasps> guys, guys, guys! <laughs> emergency meeting, emergency meeting! Uh, I have pink and orange checkers now! I could do a pink orange checkered thing! I could do a pink room with an orange checkered like border or crown molding. I could do I could do orange with a pink one. I could do pink orange, pink orange, pink orange. I could do I could do Wah uh, Okay. I could do pink orange with a rainbow border. I could do Oh Okay. Um Yes. We have to remember that for next time. I'm gonna add drywall to this room. I'm gonna add drywall to this room. Um, which will also give them more positive decor. And I'm gonna, I've got to drywall the kitchen at Yakani as well. Um, I can just tell them to do that right now. Th this will be orange. So we'll keep that pink and then we'll have orange over here. And it, I know it's a bit extreme, but that's what we're going to do. I think the checkered is better. Might I say pretty perfect, pretty nifty, pretty nice for the smaller spaces. Um... Rather than a big room. Small room's better. But I, I'll see if there's maybe a pattern I want to do. If I want to just do basic checker. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we could do small checkers with big checkers. Oh wait, I don't have the plain of pink. Or orange. I only have plain green. Plain white, plain green. Plain red. Yeah. okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is still too... Empty eggshell and polluted mud. Oh, this has organic in it normally? Okay, if there's any extra mud, just put it in there as well. Med pack, sulfur, abyssalite. I don't know, just pick up the rest of the stuff, guys. I just told him to shove it into some of those. Like, I, it's not- the, the, the organization is somewhat ruined, but it's fine. We at least got smaller piles. I mean, bigger piles. Less small piles is what I mean. We got less small piles. We're gonna, just going to have to leave it at that. Um, okay. Yeah, so we're done for today. I was doing my last checks. Final checks, final checks. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that. In a small space like that, uh, that looks nice. That looks great. Um, okay, Pip. Here we go. Pip, Pip Cheerio. Um, Pip Squeak. Or a Pip. Or a Cuddle. Okay. And then, uh, wrangle. Okay. There we go. So, Yakani, they're doing what they're doing. Soilolin. Um, okay. I told them to boost everything with the manual generator for a second. And that got us where? Still not out here. Why? That's connected. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they can go out there if need be. And when they go out there, did they do this? No, they didn't. But I mean, there's someone out here right now. Oh, wait, that's just, that's fine, right? I don't know. Uh... Oh, those maybe can't be reached. Who cares about those? I, well, maybe it matters. I'll do this. Okay. Um, so it's going in there and then it's coming out here, which should mean... That if this just has power, then this will be fine. Because we can we can move some through there. So that for that to get power... For that to get power... Okay, okay, let's connect it up here. Connect it up here, okay. Do, do, do. Go, go, go. Yeah. Hurry, somebody. Connect this up. Connect this up and then don't ever stop running on that generator. <laughs> I know, Pei. I know. Low oxygen! Oh my god, they're gonna die. They're gonna die, they're gonna die. Max gas pressure. No. Everybody's gonna be fine. Nobody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna be fine. Um. Okay, I hope I remember that this is, like, kind of a little bit of a crisis mode next time. Like, next episode. <laughs> It's, it's, it's going up, right? It's getting better, not getting worse. It's getting better. 
with this being powered on. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's getting better. <sighs> okay. I need like alarms set in case things break and, you know, are bad. Because this place must have been like just decreasing oxygen for multiple, multiple days without me noticing. Um, okay. So, yeah. We just have to remember to disconnect this line next time. I don't know if I'll be able to, but if we can just... Okay, yeah, yeah, this is working. Perfect. I was gonna say, if I can just get that to work, then that'll be great. Because this had a little burst of power. Yeah, yeah, to send stuff through. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. We'll be saved soon enough. Look, these have... These literally have, um, power in them. Okay. We'll be saved soon enough. It's just now the hydrogen is the problem. But with pay running on the lines, yes, we're getting hydrogen moving through here again and without any coming through this way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and it's going... Okay, yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, we'll be fine. We're getting, like, drops of it, probably, down through here every once in a while. Okay, not yet, but... Surely we will soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? See? Okay. Perfect. And all the drops will end up, you know, collecting up to be more than a drop and to us not having problems anymore. You just have to remember to disconnect that power line again after. Um, okay, yes. And then the, the slugs help us at nighttime. Perfect. Okay, I'm never going to remember about that power line. There's so many things I'm screwing up to try and fix things that I'm never going to remember. But I guess that's it then, right? We checked everything. Okay. Continue dealing with these crises next time, I guess. Did you ever bring back any of the coal? That's a little annoying, but okay. Well, <laughs> that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all, um, well... Let me wait. Okay, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye now.